On July 27th, 26th of this year, uh, Nature Magazine published an article. <clears throat> the life expectancy, healthy life expectancy of aging rats was extended 10 to 20 percent with hypothalamus stem cells. Now, <clears throat> that may, that sounds very interesting, especially for those of us in the baby boomer generation that are getting older. There's always, uh, we've always known there's significant uh, variation in aging. These are called the Golden Girls. They're um, a group of lab rats at the Jackson uh, Laboratory Supply Company. They are in, <coughs> located in Bar Harbor, Maine, um, and in California. And they're one of the major suppliers of uh, animals like lab rats. These girls, the Golden Girls here, are four and a half years old. The average age for a lab rat is one and a half to two years. So these girls are appearing healthy and just cooking right along. They are of a specific genetic variation. And we've seen some of that genetic variation with humans as well. Uh, there are several different mechanisms for it. Uh, <clears throat> but this is different. This is being able to take regular rats, not some genetic super rat, and <clears throat> as the rats get older, or lab mice get older, Dong Ching Kai at Albert Einstein School of Medicine has injected stem cells from young rats. What happened was the older rats became healthier and they lived longer. <clears throat> now, how did that happen? Well, first of all, we have to know two or three things. First of all, what's a hypothalamus? The hypothalamus is part of our brain. It's right, it's an acre in size, it's acre in size and shape. It's located right in the middle of our brain, right here. If you drew a line between here and here, it would intersect with the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is what we think of in medicine as a, the, the vegetative controller of the brain. It controls uh, how much we eat, which is a big deal for many of us. It controls all of the uh, endocrine functions of the body, like the thyroid function, um, the adrenal glands, uh, <clears throat> sexual uh, hormones, oxytocin. All of these are controlled originally by the hypothalamus, and that's up here. So what is this? This is the pituitary gland, which is located right below the hypothalamus. Uh, the hypothalamus is sort of like the uh, the general. The pituitary gland is sort of like the sergeant. The hypothalamus gives uh, orders to the general, uh, to the sergeant, which in turn gives orders to all of the glands in our body and controls our endocrine activities. So that's a little bit about the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus, as I said, has been indicated in uh, many types of uh, functions and diseases and misfunctions. For example, there's um, uh, the pituitary itself is located in a, in a thing called the cella tersica. Or that means uh, Greek saddle. It's a bone shaped like this. When women lose blood during uh, delivery and pregnancy, they this has um, got a lot of blood in this area they lose it and they can get injury to the pituitary. That causes a um, loss of function of all of the endocrine systems because of problems, injuries here. There are injuries in the hypothalamus which can result in uh, weight gain, uh, hypothalamic obesity. That's a big issue these days. <clears throat> We're just beginning to understand it. That's enough about hypothalamus and pituitary for right now. Let's talk for a minute about stem cells. What's a stem cell? Well, this is a, 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 uh, an illustration of a stem cell. This is orthopedic skin, stem cells. I did that for two reasons. One is um, use of stem cells in orthopedics, for example, for joint pain, 
uh, rehabilitation of, of hands, knees, is a huge development right now. Uh, folks at Stanford are using stem cells to um, improve uh, brain function after a stroke. So stem cells are a big deal. Now what are they? Again, orth orthopedic stem cells, I use them because there's so much going on in that area right now, and that's the one where I could find a good illustration. Stem cells are uh, primitive cells, precursor cells. They're what we call in medicine undifferentiated. They then go on to differentiate into other types of cells. Uh, orthopedically, that would mean a muscle cell, a bone cell, fat or car uh, cartilage. They can self-replicate and form more skin, uh, stem cells. They decrease uh, cell death and decrease inflammation. So again, as you start putting all those together, um, you start to see, oh, interesting. This can be a way of um, creating a fountain of youth or regrowing damaged tissues. <clears throat> now, what's this final thing? MicroRNA. That was the mechanism for increasing the longevity, the healthy life of these uh, lab mice at Albert Einstein College, our, our School of Medicine. <clears throat> what is microRNA? It turns out that that is a, a controller uh, mechanism that is just being discovered. Those of us who are science or medical science geeks know what it, DNA is. It's this double-stranded uh, pattern which tells everything about what our body's going to develop. It is the, um, the map that our cells use to make every protein in our body. RNA is a replica of this DNA, usually single-stranded, but microRNA is two dozen uh, nucleotide or what we would call base pairs in the DNA, but again, single-stranded. Single so look, <clears throat> in a full um, DNA complement, you have, may have six billion base pairs. In a microRNA, you have two dozen. Six billion, two dozen. What do these do? These attach to different uh, areas, uh, especially in the microsomes, where proteins are being made. So they are able to start or stop uh, development of proteins. So now you start to get the picture. These older mice, the hypothalamus is wearing out. They're losing their ability to uh, make important hormones uh, for uh, daily living. You get stem cells, hypothalamic stem cells from um, younger mice, inject them, and then those, those stem cells made microRNA which the older mice used to regain their youth. So, <clears throat> Ford Brewer, um, PrevMed, heart attack, stroke prevention. Uh, you do most of the hard work. We certainly help, though. Uh, thank you.